Strong kick. Roundhouse kick. Start game. So that took, yeah, that took me a while to figure that out. Now it's just actually, I don't have, besides this launch box, I haven't had any issues uh, since I started streaming about two months ago. Occasionally we'll have like, Steam will mess up with Street Fighter 6 or something like that, but that's easy just to reset. I actually have the most problem with the pinball because the pinball actually has like real physical parts. Like it has solenoids, it has a shaker, it has lights. So getting all that software to work with all that hardware, it's basically like using MAME's outputs to control lighting and force feedback. Like you could, like all the racing games have force feedback through the outputs of MAME. But doing that on there, it takes so little for something not to work. No, I don't even know, what is that? The arcade service. Come on, birdie, really? Oh, this was asking about before. But all these arcades and, and computers were all built. There's nothing that I bought that was pre-built. Um, there's a cocktail arcade over here too. And then a bunch of retro systems over here. Uh, they have, uh, they do have something like that. It's called Fightcade, uh, Fightcade 2. That, uh, that's on right now. I just haven't set it up. It's because usually I have people over. Like I said, it's me and another person. So we usually just go against each other. I used to have the original fight, uh, Fightcade set up. Uh, and then they kind of switched everything over to two, which is better. I just, after I spent so many months just getting this set up for stream, I was like, oh, I'll go back to it. It's the same thing with like the Dolphin light board for all the Wii games. Like, I'm just like, I'll get to it someday. Well, and then, you know, Technopair has, a, you can play like Third Strike and a bunch of other games on there. Yeah, kind of like me. Uh, I haven't messed around with it too much. We did play some uh, Time Crisis 2 player, uh, Time Crisis 5 on uh, Techno Parrot. Uh, this is a long time ago. And that was cool. But they've been adding more and more games to their online area. Yeah, Technopair is a lot more involved. Uh, it's nice that you have these guys that are taking dumps of like, obviously, like I have, I have the Castlevania arcade game and the Tomb Raider arcade game, which is really new. I haven't got it set up yet, but they're dumping like really complex. Like a lot of these games run on Linux, but there's still like some stuff on the back end you have to do just because there's no way they could ever make sure that it works across everybody's PC. Like you got AMD or Nvidia, what's your CPU? Like there's just so many variations. So I've had some issues. It just takes a little bit more work, but there's a lot of great techno pair games, especially if you like fighting games or, uh, cause they have like Tekken 7 Retribution, Street Fighter 5. Yeah. Drivers too. But they're pretty good about updating. I, I use it mostly for the racing arcade because they have so many amazing uh, newer arcade racing games. 
with full force feedback and everything. So that's, and I'm part of their patron. It's like $5 a month. A lot of people bitch about it, but those guys have to buy the actual arcade, you know, the computers that are in them and spend all that time dumping it. Like that's, that takes a lot of time. Like I don't mind dropping five bucks for that. I mean, it's not like they have the ROMs. You have to find the ROMs yourself anyway, or the dumps. But at least they get it working on the platform. But MU Line, if you've if you've not gone on there, uh, emuline.com. They have a lot of like arcade PC stuff. Uh, they have a lot of stuff just for emulators as well. Uh, even like non uh, games like I don't know if you ever heard of Friction. It's another light gun game. But there's like newer games that are um, they just run on their own, like just like a regular PC game too. They have a lot of links to those. Yeah, and they got like a whole ROM section and a emulator section, and then one that's just dedicated to arcade PC, and that's what usually where you'll find like a lot of the newer stuff. Like say last 10 years, I still feel like it's new to be running on any type of PC. Yeah. Because I have a really uh, in-depth uh, light gun wheel on here that has like a lot of uh, newer light gun games that I wouldn't have access to if it was not for uh, run, being able to run Technofair and being able to use a, a stick, flight stick, a steering wheel, or a light gun is just built into Technopair. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to like use Daniel Shooter or anything else. It just recognizes it and automatically works. Uh, it is kind of a pain to do command lines to launch the games, but I just create batch files. I mean, some people use other stuff. For me, the batch file just works fine. It just goes to the setting file in my Technopair and then it just launches from there. Yeah, I'll have to show you the back end stuff once I figured out how to <laughs> get the launch box to work again. Uh, no, it would do that. It doesn't matter if you use uh, what light guns you have. Uh, you have to do an initial setup for your light guns just to calibrate them, but that's just across anything. It doesn't matter if it was MAME or anything else. Uh, the ones that I have, I've, the ones that I have right here are just the standard light guns, if you can see. And they come with like a utility and it just has you point at the different corners. And once you do that initial setup, uh, you're fine. That's never changed on me. Uh, but for, for Techno Parrot, I think that they run because basically those light guns are being treated as mice because you can play uh, House of the Dead with a mouse because it just thinks it's a light gun. So it's just being able to detect with, I have a bar up here. As long as that works fine, I've never had an issue. Um, no, I don't know exactly what that is. I did have a VR setup for a while. Whoa. Yeah, the, the Sinden or Sindel light guns, uh, they're wireless and they don't require anything, but you have to have borders. That's the only downside to it. And it works on any TV, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I've had no issues with these and I don't need them to be wireless. Come on, right? Get me, get away from me. But I haven't had any issues with these, so I'm not gonna, and those ones are, the send-in ones are so expensive. 
Now, anything outside of MAME or Technopair, if you're using light guns, you will need demo, demo shooter to, to run them. And that's just something that would launch before the game. So like say you had like House of the Dead PC or something like that. Um, but RetroArch also has, so like I have, my light gun has light guns on Genesis, Super, anything that used a light gun, I have on that wheel. So that, RetroArch has it built in as well. So that's, it doesn't have any problems using it. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I used to have a, a HTC Vive Pro uh, for quite a while. 